I just want to talk to you about some of the essentials that I need in tackle preparation. Now, obviously I'm lucky I've got my own tackle room, but if you've got a part of your garage or your shed or even a spare room at home where you use to actually prepare your tackle, there are essential bits of kit that you need. And I've just highlighted a few of the ones here. Obviously I've got my shotting tube. It's very close to me. It's not a massive, massive one. I have got a slightly bigger one for when I'm fishing abroad, but this is for making up very, very big floats. My everyday floats can be shotted up in this, no problem. So like I say, it's very important when you're making your rigs at home, not to just make them a bit willy-nilly, but actually really concentrate and get everyone 100%. Because you never know when you're going to get that rig out of your box. It might be in the heat of battle in the match, and you need to put that rig on and know that it's 100%. As a lot of you know, I, I put a lot of emphasis on accuracy, and obviously accuracy comes with measuring things and lengths. I've got a couple of stainless steel rulers that enable me to get my bulk shot or the staggered bulk exactly in the right place. And not just one, if I want to make three or four different duplicates and I want the bulk 30 centimetres, 27 or 45, I can make sure that they're not roughly the same, but exactly the same. I've got another one there for slightly longer measurements, like I say. It's all very crucial to me, and if I make up some duplicate rigs, I don't want them, like I say, roughly the same. I want them exactly the same, because there's nothing worse than catching fish. If you do have a mishap, your rig goes up the tree, or you, rig, you lose your whole rig, or your float happens to break, you want to put a replacement rig on that isn't similar, but exactly the same. I've obviously got a nice pair of sharp scissors. This is for trimming off all the loops and, and little bits and pieces. I've got a little pair of nail clippers here. Again, this is when I'm hook tying. I can actually trim the tag off very, very close to the knot. That's of utmost importance. Bait presentation and hook tying is really foremost for me. It's very, very important. Any little tiny tool that I can use to just better my hook presentation and bait presentation, I'm going to use it. You see, you see my labeler. Again, I like to label all my stuff so I know exactly where and what I've got. The days of sticky labels and writing have gone because like I say, I've got it wet and that's all just worn off and disappeared and all of a sudden I don't know what hooks to what line, if it's fluorocarbon or nor normal mono. So a nice label gun will definitely stand you in good stead and make things a lot more um, permanent. As you can see in my tack room, I've got a nice light that can be moved in po into position and more importantly, on the top there's a magnifying glass that I can look through. As you, if you've seen my videos on line and hook choice, obviously I use line and hooks that I do depend on and that, that I really put my trust in. However, when I'm opening a fresh spool of line, be it double strength or, or fluorocarbon or match winner, when I tie my first loop and when I tie my first hook, I'll just have a quick look under the light and the magnifying glass just to check that the line's okay and then I'll go about my business of tying the hooks up. It's always wise when you buy a fresh spool of line just to check the first hook or the first loop that you tie. Not formation, you've heard me mention it, it's crucial. So like I say, everything's to hand. They're just a few of the necessities and the real important parts of my rig making and tackle preparation in my tackle room. Obviously I've got the shot and all the other bits to hand, the ruler, the shotting tube, the label gun, nice sharp pair of scissors and good lighting to me are all very very important. Behind me you can't see it because it's taped off for the for the filming but I've got a nice big window there. The sun comes up this way and I actually had it put there for the reason I want a lot of natural light. When I used to tie hooks in my old tack room that's situated in my house just under false lighting I used to suffer with bad headaches. It's a nice lot of natural light again even if you're out in the garden, it's a fantastic place to tie hooks and concentrate. Natural light. There's nothing worse than tying hooks or rigs in badly lit conditions. That's why when I go fishing, I try to do 100% of my prep before I actually get there. <laughs>